tomorrow night. It's where America said it couldn't be done. Well, I'm going to show America and I'm going to show the world that the road warriors are going to go down in defeat and they're going to pack their bags and they're going to catch that interstate, whatever number it is, and head on back to Chicago and start picking up garbage or working for the city or doing whatever it takes to keep them eating, all right? Because Chicago street fight tomorrow night, road warriors, I'm going to make sure that your brains are beat in till your, your head looks like a can of sauerkraut. Tell them, Mark. Road warriors, we're going to stomp mud holes in you and we're going to walk them dry just like we did in Corpus Christi. Yeah! Tomorrow night, boys, you're going to fall like you ain't ever fell before because the 90s belong to the skyscrapers and Theodore, brother, we're going to make you something proud. Road, Road warriors, move aside because the scrapers are here and we're here to stay. Testify! They're going down tomorrow night, believe me. Yeah! Hi, everybody, and welcome to World Championship Wrestling this week. As you know, we have new World Tag Team Champions, Doom, along with Theodore R. Long, won the tag team belts during Capital Combat over the Steiners, so the Steiners certainly pose a threat to get the titles back. Not only that, you have a threat from the Rock and Roll Express. Let me say something right now, Giovanni. The whole world is looking at history in itself. The first black NWA World Tag Team Champions are standing right before you. Now, the Steiners are not a threat to us. The Rock and Roll Express are not a threat to us. Anybody that you put in the ring with us are not a threat. And the reason why they're not a threat is because we hold a goal. And when you hold a goal, it only says one thing, that you're the number one, you're the best, and there's nobody that can beat you, okay? So let me make it real simple to Rick and Scott Steiner. I want to make it real simple to the Rock and Roll Express. I want to make it real simple to anybody that thinks that they're going to take these belts from the first black world tag team champions. It ain't going to happen because we're going to go down the ranks of the great Nelson Mandela. We're going to follow in the footsteps of the great Don Cornelius. We're going to follow in the footsteps of the great James Brown or Senior Hall. I could go on and on. So let me tell you, brother, the goal is going to stay around the Soul Brothers for a long, long time. Now, listen, brother, I want you guys to tell them just what it's all about. Well, the thing is, we're not closet champions. Anybody in the NWA, anybody in the world, step on up, boys, because we are ready for anything. Paid the cost to be the boss. <laughs> you know it's the Matt Militant. Come and get it all. Ladies and gentlemen, on this week's edition of the Binge Buster Show, Tim and I sit down and talk to the WWE Hall of Famer, Theodore R. Long, coming up next on the Binge Buster Show. WrestleCade Weekend returns to Winston-Salem, November 29th, 30th, and December 1st. Meet your favorite wrestling stars. Experience live wrestling events all three days. Shop for your favorite wrestling merch and more. Join us for family-friendly fun for wrestling fans of all eras during WrestleCade Weekend, November 29th, 30th, and December 1st. All goes down at the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem. Tickets and info at WrestleCade.com. Hey, what's up, players? This is WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long, and you're listening to the Binge Buster Show with Tim and Tony. Holla, holla, holla. Ladies and gentlemen, from the studios in the wrestling capital of the South, it's another exciting edition of the Binge Buster Show. Welcome back to another exciting edition of the Binge Buster Show. I'm so excited. Our guest this week is going to be none other than Theodore R. Long, WWE Hall of Famer. And right now, without any further ado, let me bring on my tag team partner, cohort, co-conspirator. I'm talking about none other than Red Hot Tim Blaze. Tim, how are you doing this evening, my friend? Uh, 
Uh, Tony, 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 I'm doing great. How you doing? Man, Tim, I don't know if you're like me. I'm trying to give whatever this, this funk thing that I had, uh, and it wasn't Terry Funk, but, uh, man, I had some kind of crud over the weekend. I had a sore throat for about a week, and so I ended up going well, to I think the, you're yeah, I had to go well, to the I think doctor. You throw the crud this way, man. I'm, you know, I'm, your doctor threw it this way, brother. I'm telling you, it, it's awful. Yeah, it, 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 for me, it was hard to swallow. I was coughing, sneezing, bad headaches. Uh, but I finally went to the doctor, and uh, she got me back on track, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And uh, man, I said, I, I told her, I said, man, you got to get me feeling better. I got this huge podcast I got to do this week, and uh, I got to be able to talk. So here I am. Did you tell her? Did you tell her it was a Hall of Famer? I told her. I said, "Hey, I got a Hall of Famer calling my show, and uh, and my voice has got to be up to par." So she said, "I'll do everything I can," and and she did. And then, and uh, I'm telling you, Tim, uh, she was a uh, she was a really good doctor. I I was very impressed. You know, a lot of times you, you go to these to these um, doctor's offices and uh, you know it's urgent cares, and man, they got you up there all night. With her, I was in, I was out, I was back home taking my medication, and I was listening uh, or w- watching the network, getting pumped for our uh, guest this week. And uh, and man, it, 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 and, it's, and as everybody heard at the top of the program, we're going to have Hall of Famer Theodore R. Long on the show, and man, he is going to be telling us some huge, huge WrestleCade spoilers, Tim. Well, I'm telling you what, Teddy Long. Hall of Fame. We're going to be the general manager all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, December 29th, 30th, and December the 1st. For any AML uh, sanctioned match, he's definitely got a part of it, but he's, he's putting these matches together, man, like crazy with the, with the bookers and the, and, the, and the matchmakers of WrestleCade and that big team, and, and it's really come together. We're just a couple of weeks away from the big show, Tony. I'm just more excited now than I've been. It's just like, it's like it's like Christmas time. Oh, I'm telling you. And it's like Tim, it's time to open the presents, like the matches of the presents, you know? Yeah, and, I, and I've already got the, uh, for Black Bart, already got the Austin Hall boots out, polished up, ready to wear them things around. And uh, I'm sure, what, what, heck, heck, Tim, who knows? I might I might have to start charging for photo ops with my boots. Well, there you go. The Austin Hall photo op with Tony Bench. Hey, that. Exclusively that, on the Bench Buster Show. There it is. <laughs> That'd be great. So, uh, Tim, how's your week been? What 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 have you been up to this week? Oh, it's pretty good, man. I mean, I just couldn't do it just about breaking a leg. You know what I'm saying? Just fell down the steps, emergency room, all that good stuff. But I tell you what, it's just uh, it's just part of these days. But uh, we're getting along day by day, and everything's going great, Tony. Hey, Tim, couldn't be better unless I was twins. Like I'm I telling you, man. And the good thing about I was sick, you fell down the stairs. But hey, we both kicked out, right? Yeah, we both kicked out. we got some uh, Hall of Famers coming up uh, on the show, coming up soon here on the Binge Buster Show. Uh, we've got a few lined up, of course. And uh, don't forget uh, that uh, for WrestleCade, uh, any of the Hall of Famers that, or any of the guests that we have on the Binge Buster Show, that you will get uh, two free autographs if you pre-order your Binge Buster shirt today. That's right. Go on our Binge Buster Facebook page. If you hadn't already, go ahead and like the page. And uh, pre-order your Binge Buster Show t-shirt with Binge and Blaze, and uh, you'll save $5, and you'll get guaranteed two free autographs from uh, any of the stars that we've had on the Binge Buster Show so far. And that also includes Theodore R. Long. And I'm telling you, fans, that, that shirt is going to be over. Uh, but re- but talk about being over, man. WrestleCade is going to be huge. Uh, I mean, j- just when Tim and I were talking to Theodore or long earlier, man, I was getting goosebumps when he was talking about all those matches that he was putting together. I'm like, man, I cannot wait to uh, to get my popcorn and my drink and sit there and enjoy, like like he said, real classic professional wrestling. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's, if Teddy Long's had any part of it, you know, it's going to be put together quite well. And, you know, just like the blockbuster that was announced tonight, uh, and again, this is something that was just made just now, AML Wrestling presents a six-man tag team match, Team Teddy Long versus Team Bill Alfonso, Battle of the Referees here. Wow, that's awesome. That's going to be a great, great match right there, fans. I'm telling you, people, if you haven't went out and got your WrestleCade ticket, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to be out in the cold, you're going to be regretting it come Sunday or Monday. 
you're going to be like, man, why didn't I just make that little sacrifice, get that little ticket, and go up there and have the time of my life? Instead, I get to look at Facebook and see all these people posting all these pictures and uh, talk about all their memories that they had at WrestleCade. I know, Tim, I'm excited I'm, I'm uh, to be in the middle of the fold and, and get and get to hang out with you. And, and uh, you know, you, you and I are going to be uh, rubbing shoulders with, with some of the, the greatest uh, talent in this in this industry uh, that, that's ever came through. Um, and I'm telling you, fans, and you can do the same thing as Tim and I. All you got to do is uh, open up your little computer there, uh, type in your little gimmick, and hit and hit and get your tickets. And you better get them soon because, Tim, I'm sure they're, they're, there's not many left at this point. No, at this point, he's actually probably going to be cutting off the uh, tickets uh, online here pretty soon. He always cuts it off about a week beforehand. So got about a week to get those tickets online. If not, then you can take the chance on seeing what we have available day of. But I would not recommend that whatsoever. I've seen it happen before. And two years ago, I think two or three years ago, people actually turned away by the city of Winston-Salem uh, for the fire marshals because it just could not hold it anymore. It was in capacity. Wow. Of, uh, of awesome. holding any other people. So, so don't let that happen to you fans. Don't be one of them because it's going to be cold. It's going to be quite chilly that day, I'd say. Hey. It always is good and windy uh, the day of WrestleCade. It's a jacket wearing day for sure. For sure. But I'll tell you one thing Tim and I are going to be in the building where it's hot and we're going to be enjoying a nice yeah. turkey leg, drinking some Coke and not snorting it, but drinking it. And we're, and we're going to be there, you know, taking in all the hot action of WrestleCade. Exactly right. And we're going to be there with bells on all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. But November 29th, the 30th, and December the 1st. Man, I just can't wait. And uh, speaking of can't wait, uh, and I know Tracy Myers is probably going to have his WrestleCade report later on, but the commissioner, the general manager, the man running the show, holla, 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 play, ah, Teddy Long. Is on the line. He's ready to come back with us. Tony, are you are you ready for this? I'm I'm ready. And and fans, I'm telling you what. At this point, you need to turn your little volume gimmick up on your uh, on your device. Whether you listen to us on the on the uh, on your phone, your tablet, your computer, or wherever you, you're you're listening to us, but make sure you turn this up because I'm telling you, Teddy has got some, some huge wrestle case spoilers uh, for you, and you're going to be just as, as excited as Tim and I were when we sit down and talk to the great WWE Hall of Famer, Theodore R. Long, coming up next on the Binge Buster Show. Enzo, Kaz, Real One and XL, about a bull roast ones in a row, hey, though. Okay, so November 30th, Pro Wrestling South, WrestleCade. You're going to get a chance to see the Rock and Roll Express. Hey, though. The Midnight Express. Hey, though. And the Don't Give a F*** Express. Get off the tracks when a train's coming through. Pow! All right, Binge Buster fans, we're back and on the line right now, none other than Hall of Famer, Mr. Teddy Long, Theodore R. Long. How are you this evening? I'm very good today, man. I'm doing great, and uh, what an honor it is to be able to talk to you again. I get a chance to see you every year there at uh, WrestleCade and Winston-Salem, and uh this is the first time you guys have had me to come on and do your podcast, and I'm really happy about doing it, and uh, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. All right. Well, thank you so much. We do appreciate you taking your time out of your busy schedule. We know you're a busy man, especially coming up now. Busy man, especially coming up now with you, all this planning you've been doing probably around WrestleCade for the last few months. Uh, I bet you got a lot in store for the fans, and uh, it was a spoiler that was let out on the Binge Buster show a few weeks back that you're going to be the commissioner of, uh, of WrestleCade, the general manager of WrestleCade well, this year. Well, uh, well, we might as well get it out there. If somebody leaked it, we might as well go ahead and confirm it and make it uh, make it legal. Uh, that's right. Uh, AML Wrestling going to have a great big wrestling event all three days there, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there at uh, WrestleCade. And, uh, you know, I've been coming uh, every year. And last year I didn't have a chance to get on the show, but I saw a lot of things on the show that I thought that uh, I might need to straighten out. So this year the promoters of AML have uh, contacted me and they want me to come in and be the acting general manager on the show for all three days. And uh, I'm just excited about doing that. And uh, you know me, I'm going to be making some tag team matches. And if you ain't careful, I might have you to go one-on-one with whoever I choose to make you do that with. 
Wow. And and, 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 do, and this is just, I've just learned this while we were uh, offline, you and I were speaking, that you were the biggest influence on Sonny Ono uh, making the Great Muda the open challenge this year. Tell me a little bit more. Is the Great Muda open challenge? Well, uh, you know, I had the opportunity of knowing, uh, I've known Sonny Owens for quite some time. You know, me and him worked together back in the day in WCW. You know, great guy, a uh, great friend of mine. And uh, me and him had a good conversation about the, the great mood and talk about it. And uh, he wanted my, uh, you know, input a little bit in it. And I thought that would be the great thing to do, open challenge. I think that's the thing to do, and that's where we're going to go. Tony. Did you hear that? So that's where it's coming from. The big, yeah, the Ben I'm Hunter Spoiler. I tell you, I'm that's excited. A, you know, it, it was the Bench Buster show that first leaked that the uh, Great Buddha had the open challenge. And I well, it's up to, uh, you, you, uh, and, uh, you know, I think it's a great thing for the great Muda. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to see him in a while. I, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with him from back in the day. He was managed by Gary Hart. And, uh, you know, I had a chance to ride with them. So it's going to be, you know, real great to see the great Muda. But, you know, business is business. So the open challenge, that's what it's going to be, Slayer. That is crazy. Now, now, Teddy, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I also heard through a little birdie or grapevine that there's also going to be another kind of challenge that you're bringing to WrestleCade this year. Would you like to elaborate more on that and the more politically correct term that we're calling it this year? Well, I tell you, uh, we we got to let it all out because, I mean, I really want everybody to come and see, you know, what's going on with AML Wrestling, one of the greatest independent companies around the Carolinas. Uh, the other open challenge that we're going to do is going to be, the, and you want to say the Caucasian challenge, but I'm going to say it just like it is and what it is. It's going to be the White Boy Challenge. And as a, many, as a lot of the WWE fans and WWF fans can remember, you know, back in the day I had my man Rodney Mack and we did the White Boy Challenge. And we're going to do it again right there in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Wow. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, wrestlers, uh, up-and-coming wrestlers, and, again, uh, veteran wrestlers that are out there that may take that Rodney Mack uh, uh, Caucasian boy challenge up. So, uh, and, and well, again, with it, it's, 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 as way I understand the rules, though, or this year it's not just white boys that can, that can join it. It's Caucasian. <laughs> but it's, I don't know who's going to jump in there this year. It's well, crazy, I, I'll, tell you like it, I, I'll tell you just like it is. You know, we can, it can be the white boy challenge. It could be the Mexican challenge. It could be the Italian boy challenge, the black boy challenge. It don't make no difference to me. Rodney Mack is in great condition, great shape, and he's ready to take on whoever it might be when he steps into that ring. Oh, my gosh. You heard it right here, Bench Buster fans. WrestleCade this year, November 29th, 30th, and December the 1st. Daddy Long has put the law down. Uh, he's going to be the general manager for all three days. And uh, he's told you there, Rodney Mack is going to be there at WrestleCade. And that's the white boy challenge as of Teddy Long. Wow. Teddy, you're you're killing us this season, man. I mean, I'm telling you, we've had more news in the last five minutes, Tony, than we've had for three episodes of the Binge Buster Show. I'm telling you, thank you. Thank you. And I also say thank you so long for that. That's that's great. We, we, we well, uh, I, enjoy you know, well, my thing is my thing is this, man. You know, I think uh, we need to add, you know, every year AML Wrestling is there. They always put on a great show. But, you know, I like to improve things. And I think this year we're going to make it even better. We're going to have a lot more excitement. And we're going to give the fans some something that they want to see. They come out, pay their hard-earned money to get in there. So I want to make them happy. And when they leave, I want them to know that they got their money for it. Well, that's exactly right. And I know that you're doing that this year. Um, you know, let's talk about, you mentioned earlier in our conversation, and we just keep talking WrestleCade. I mean, I, I, I wanted to talk some Teddy Long. It sounded like Teddy Long just talked what Teddy Long is going to do, and that's strictly business, and that's what he's going to do with WrestleCade coming up. But there's a few uh, tag team matches uh, that I saw recently uh, on there. Uh, the the actual uh, WrestleCade website, part of the uh, Showcase of Champions, you know, you're going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, um, yes, I'll, be, I'll one, be there for all three days. But one tag team match that you made was the Carnies versus the Jim Nasty Boys for Friday night. And that's part of Fest Tag Team Championships on the line. The tag team titles, the Carnies against the Jim Nasty Boys. Now, I know you've uh, seen the Jim Nasty Boys in action, and, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the Carnies in action, but that's a worldwide match that, that you've well, made. I, I mean, a monumental match. Man, 
Well, yeah, I had the opportunity to, you know, to talk to the gymnastic boys just a couple of days ago, and uh, you know, I've, I've met them over the years, you know, you know, doing my travels, and I think they're a great tag team. And they brought the idea to me, you know. They said they've been having some problems with the carnage, you know. They keep, you know, running around, dodging them, and not wanting to get in the ring with them. And so they finally need somebody to come in and, you know, put the law down and show some authority. And so that's what I'm going to do, you know. I'm going to show some authority, put the law down, and if the gymnastics want the carnage, then play up. We're going to have ourselves a tag team match. Wow. Showcase of champions Friday night, November the 29th. Teddy Long has made it a tag team match. First time meeting ever of the Carnies. I don't know a lot about the Carnies. I know they're coming to showcase the champions against the Gymnasty Boys. That's going to be a one hell of a match. Uh, that may be a show stealer of the night. Uh, but you, 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 you continue to just amaze me with the different matches that you make uh, on the shows itself. I mean, even the one that's, that was announced most recently at Showcase the Champions, AML champion C.W. Anderson against Ethan Page. I mean, that match is a main event anywhere in the United States. Ethan Page versus champion C.W. Anderson right there on Friday night with Showcase of Champions, and, and it's, it's all for the fans. Well, the, uh, the last time I, well, I saw C.W. Anderson about a couple of months ago. We were there with another uh, event in uh, Virginia. And, uh, you know, I didn't know that he was the champion at that time. And so he walked up to me and told me, said, hey, I'm the new AML champion. So I really congratulated him. You know, it's great to hear that because I've known him, you know, for a long, long time. And he's worked real hard. He's another guy that gets into that ring and gives you 100%. And he's worked real hard, and I feel like he deserves that. And, uh, you know, Ethan Page, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know him real well, but I've had a chance to meet him. But uh, I can tell you this. I've seen him in action. He's a tough competitor. So this one here, C.W. Anderson and Ethan Page, you know, and I, I have to say this one would really be too close to call. Oh, man, I'm telling you what. And, and just uh, just one more thing that that, that that just blows my mind is the match at Showcase of Champions Friday night, November the 29th. Teddy Long, you put it pen to paper. Champion Brian Cage versus Willie Mack. And that's, and that's all Friday night. Brian Cage versus Willie Mack. And that is going to be one heck of a match. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. You know, everybody around the Carolinas knows the reputation of Brian Cage. Not only the Carolinas, this man has displayed his talents all over the Carolinas, Alabama, Tennessee. He's been all around. So Brian Cage is certainly a veteran in this business. And I tell you what, man, for him to step in there with the guy that he's getting in there with, that's going to be a real tough one there. I can tell you right now. No, and you even made that. That's for the Masters of Champ. That's for the uh, Masters of the Ring Entertainment Heavyweight Championship match. Um, again, Willie Mack coming in challenging Brian Cage for that title. We could very much well see a title match change that night. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about. You know, everybody knows the reputation of Willie Mack too. I mean, Willie Mack. You know, he ain't no slouch. I mean, he certainly knows his way around in that ring too. So, you know, like you said, I really agree. We could, you know, maybe see a, a, you know, a title change that night. I don't know. But like I said, this was a, another big main event match that I know everybody wants to see. And with C.W. Anderson on the card there, too. So we got two big main event matches here that's really going to tear the house down. Well, I'm sure by the time you guys finish making all the matches up for the Showcase of Champions, again, it's just designed that way for every match to be a championship match from all over the United States. Champions coming from all over, all over independent organizations from Canada uh, to the United States to Mexico. That Friday night, November the 29th, part of Showcase of Champions, Teddy Long is the uh, is the general manager, and he's going to do uh, make sure that there's matches and law and order in that ring. And I just can't wait. And that's just Friday night, Teddy. Teddy, that's just yeah, Friday well, night. Then. Oh, that's, that's right. That's just the, that's just the opening night. So you can imagine what's in store for Saturday and Sunday. And uh, like I said, I'm on the phone, every, you know, every day with the promoters of AML Wrestling. Uh, I'm with them. They're talking to me every day. They're bringing, you know, talent to me. They're giving me the names of guys that we need to talk about. I'm on the phone with certainly a lot of the wrestlers. So we're putting this card together. And as I tell you, you know, I may try to outdo myself. This may be one of the best three days of wrestling that AML Wrestling has ever had. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try to outdo myself. Well, Tony... Tony, I know that you've uh, learned a lot tonight on the Binge Buster Man, Show. What do you think of all these scoops that Teddy Long has oh. given the fans of the Binge Buster Show for Wrestlecade? 
I'm excited. I'm excited already. I, I can't wait for WrestleCade. Uh, you know, if, if the, the booking right there for Friday night, guys, you can only imagine what Saturday night is going to be when, when, when the big stars are going to be there. And with great Muda and his open challenge, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, WrestleCade is going to be the place to be uh, on November 29th, 30th, and December 1st. Well, I can't wait. And Teddy, um, we're going to let you go here because I know uh, we definitely want you to. Uh, I, I want to get on the Fox and uh, check out that Friday Night SmackDown myself. But you know, there's one thing I wanted to ask. You made a match between Shannon Moore and Kazayashi at the Big Show at WrestleCade for the Big Saturday Night Show. That match was like the Jung Dragons versus Three Count in WCW. That is a first time for fans in the Mid-Atlantic or anywhere in the United States. How did you come to make that kind of dream match for the fans? Well, you know, I, I thought about that, too, and me knowing the reputation of Shannon Moore. You know, he's another guy that uh, I had the opportunity to work with in uh, WWE and WCW. You know, Shannon's a, you know, a real tough competitor. So, basically, you know, I had to sit down and try to figure out, you know, who would be best for him to, uh, you know, to work with and who would be best for him to get in that ring and give the people their money's worth. And so... I, you know, I just, that's, that's how I come up with it. I thought this would be no better match. That's great. I mean, that's going to blow the roof off again. Probably a show stealer Saturday night. Uh, but you heard it all first right here on the Binge Buster Show. Teddy, we appreciate your time this evening. If there's anything you need, you've got my number. Call me 24 hours a day. Holla, holla, playa. All right, man, I thank you guys for having me on there. And let me let everybody know that I'll be there Friday night for the big meet and greet Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, you can get an autographed picture, take a picture with me, whatever we want to do. But also, I will be in charge of AML Wrestling Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I tell you what, you're going to see a show that you have never seen before. Not one night, but all three nights. I'm going to give you something to go home and talk about. Now, let that breathe, players. <laughs> thank you so much, Teddy. Have a great night, sir. All right, thank you, guys. The 2019 version of WrestleCade Weekend is right around the corner, and you don't want to miss it. Tracy Myers here, owner of WrestleCade Weekend, and our team has been putting together one of the greatest wrestling weekends in the history of mankind. Okay, maybe not the history of mankind, but it's going to be amazing. November 29th, November 30th, and December 1st in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at the Benton Convention Center, our home for the past nine years. Go to WrestleCade.com for all the event info and to buy tickets. And be warned, tickets are already in limited supply. It all takes place starting on November 29th when we kick things off with Showcase of Champions, where every match is a championship match. And we bring together some of the best independent organizations in the country and some of the best unsigned independent wrestlers in the country all battling for a title belt that night starting at 7 o'clock. Doors open at 5.30, and you can get your tickets at WrestleK.com. That's Showcase of Champions. Right after Showcase of Champions, you can hear Dustin Rhodes share his story from the road. That's Dustin Rhodes. Buy your tickets at WrestleK.com. Then early on Saturday morning, you can have breakfast with legends featuring Raven, Bobby Fulton and Ronnie Garvin. Where else can you do that other than WrestleCade Weekend? Buy your tickets at WrestleCade.com. Right after Breakfast with Legends is our signature WrestleCade Fan Fest where you can meet the stars, get your picture taken with the stars, buy all kinds of wrestling merchandise. It's going to be an amazing day from 10 until 3. The WrestleCade Super Show pay-per-view is that night. Uh, after that is going to be the very first live Art Anderson podcast. Sunday morning we kick off with a worship service that's followed by the WCCW reunion back to the Sportatorium. Right after that is Queens of Combat. Right after that is Amel Wrestling Live. Right after that is Jake the St. Roberts and Hacksaw Jim Duggan Live. It's going to be amazing. Go to WrestleCade.com for your tickets for more information. And, hey, we expect to see you there, but be sure to buy your tickets because they are in limited supply. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another exciting edition of the Binge Buster Show. Make sure you go like our Facebook page and follow us so you can learn about all the upcoming events. And make sure that you download each episode from your favorite platform of podcast. We're available on iTunes, Spotify, 
Google Play, iHeartRadio, and every other place you find your favorite podcast. Join us each week on the Binge Buster Show.